Thanks for logging on to the RMU Athletics channel on YouTube for the Colonial Men's Hockey Update. I'm Bruce Bratton alongside head coach Derek Schooley. A year ago, he suffered a defeat to UConn. This year, the tables are turned, went up there and got the sweep. 3 0 Friday, 3 2 on Saturday. Just to start off, how'd you guys do it? Well, I thought we played extremely well. We played hard, we competed. Uh, we got uh, a very good start on, on Friday night. Uh, UConn was a little rusty with the off week. They bounced back in the in the second half of the first period on Friday, um, matched what we were doing, and and then uh, pretty much a scoreless game until Jeff Jones put home a rebound under a minute to go in the second, and, and then really had a, a very good third period, both from Cody White over and Denham, and then uh, just locked down, played a very locked down game once we got the 2 nothing lead. Uh, Saturday, uh, we got a one nothing lead. They came back and took uh, took a two one lead pretty quickly in the second. But uh, we had a really good response. Evan Moore had a really nice goal. Twenty five seconds after they they took a two one lead, and that's the only time they led the whole series. And then Ben Roblard got uh, his first goal since January uh, with about uh, six seven minutes left in the second. And we were pretty good down the stretch. It was. Uh, a little hairy, there were a lot of pucks in our crease, but uh, we did a great job blocking shots. Evan Renwick, Tyson Wilson, Andrew Blazek, uh, Evan Moore, uh, you go all the way. Chase and, and John Ray blocked a lot of shots. I mean, we just, we blocked a lot of shots at the end and sold out. And, and when, we, when we weren't there to block shots, Dalton made all the saves he needed to. You mentioned Dalton Isaac, he got the AHA goaltender of the week honors. But again, talking about guys like Evan Moore and Ben Robillard getting goals there and the deboxing everyone out. Pretty much a solid team effort overall, and then Dalton reaps the benefits of those as well with the making some saves too. Yeah, absolutely. Dalton was very good um, when he had to be, but our our team played very well in front of him, and uh, it's a credit to our guys. They they sold out, and they really wanted to to advance. They they played so hard and, and competed so hard, and I was very proud of their effort. Uh, uh, they did a, a good job in doing everything we asked them to do as far as tactics goes. And they, they did everything as far as with work ethic goes. So uh, you got a lot of contributions. The first night we got goals from three different lines. The next night we got a power play goal, which we haven't been scoring a lot of from Zach Lynch. And then you get Evan Moore and, and Ben Roblar who haven't scored a, a lot of goals between the two of them uh, contributing. And solid team effort. We had everybody contributing uh, down the stretch and everybody contributed on the weekend. Because you guys won the series and swept the series, you're headed to the AHA semifinals for the first time in program history. Obviously, the CHA's AHA, that's happened a little bit before, and we were just talking beforehand. We're playing Niagara on Friday, and it's kind of almost fitting that you've got to go through them again here. Well, we've, we've got a lot of respect for their program. Uh, they've got a good coaching staff. They're, they're friends of ours. Uh, they do a very good job. They've got a, a tremendous history of, of, of doing a lot of good things. and in the CHA and Atlantic Hockey and making the NCAA tournament. Uh, we were 1-1-1 one, one, and one against them this year. Uh, very good hockey games. Uh, the, the tie, they tied us late. Uh, their win, they uh, scored two late goals in the last three minutes to win uh, by two. And then uh, our win was 5 nothing. We got outshot, but we capitalized on a lot of our chances. So uh, I think it's going to be a, a battle of two teams that have been very hot since January 1. We were 2-12-2. They were 3 11 and 2 both at January 1, and they've got 15 wins now. We've got 17 wins, and uh, it's going to be a, a very good uh, semifinal game. And I think the team that pays the price, sells out, gets the, the goaltending, capitalizes on their chances, will be successful. You mentioned hot teams. They just flew out to Air Force and beat them in overtime in game three. That's why they're here. Again, one and done this time. No best of three, no nothing like that. So just a matter of making sure there's no mistakes and playing a full 60 minutes here? Well, we can't worry about making mistakes. We just got to go out and do what we've been doing. We've been playing playoff hockey for the last uh, uh, almost month and a half since Air Force was here. Right? I think our effort's been uh, playoff intensity, and we just need to keep doing that. We can't uh, worry about it being the semifinals in a one-game elimination. We've already played an elimination game. They've already played an elimination game. Uh, so teams, are, teams that go out and play, play their hardest, are relaxed and excited about the opportunity uh, instead of being tense. You can't be tense and you can't be worried. You just need to go out and play and play the same way we've been playing since uh, January 1. Colonials and Niagara, like we said, pretty much fitting they're going to play each other. Friday, 
in Rochester. Now the first game, Mercyhurst and Canisius, that's a 405 start. Robert Morris, Niagara, approximately 735, but an hour after game one is over on Friday night. Again, in Rochester, rmucolonials.com and follow at rmuhockey on Twitter for updates and all kinds of tidbits if you're headed up there, coach. Thanks as always, best of luck. Thank you, hopefully we're talking again next week. That sounds good, thanks.